Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to implement the concept of single level inheritance. We have to create a base class named a person with two instance members name and age and a constructor to initialize its data members. From the class person, we have to derive a class named a student with two instance members roll number and percentage and a constructor to initialize its data members. We have to perform method overriding so that a display method will get repeated in both base class person and in the derived class student. Now by using a student object, we have to display all the details of students like roll number, name, age and percentage. Where Roll number and percentage will come from student class and name and age will come from the person class. First a class person is defined with a keyword class followed by the class name. The name of the class is person. We have used a constructor. Inside the constructor of person class we have to pass two data like name and age. The name and age data will get stored into the instance data members self.name and self.age. Inside the class we also include method named display which is used to display the data members, the instance data members of the person class. There are two instance data members, the name and age within the person class. So it can be displayed by using a print statement. The self dot name and self dot age will get printed. We create a subclass. The format of creating a subclass is a class followed by the class name and inside the brackets parenthesis we have to write the base class names. If there are more than one, it should be separated by comma symbol. So we have only one base class that is a person. So we have written class student inside the brackets. We have written the base class name which is person. Constructor of the student class has to totally takes four parameters which is the roll number, name, age and percentage where the roll number and the percentage has to be stored into the student class student instance data members so it will get stored into the self dot roll number and self dot per per is used for representing the percentage of the student whereas the name and age has to be initialized into the base class so the base class constructor can be called by mentioning the class name that is person dot init so we pass the object and the two values which is the name and age. We also include a display method in the student class. This is an example for method overriding because in the base class also we have a display method. The same display method we have repeated inside the derived class also. So in the display method we can display the roll number and the percentage directly by using the instance data members like self.roll number and self.per. The other details of the student which is coming from the person class, the name and age that can be displayed by using the display method of the person class. So the display method of the person class can be called directly by using the class name person.display. So totally we have created two class. The first class is person which is the base class and from the person class we create another class which is a derived class student. For the derived class we are making an object. The name of the object is S1. Pass four values the roll number, name, age and percentage. So it goes into the constructor of the student class. From the constructor, the roll number and the percentage will be initialized into the student class, whereas the name and age will be passed into the constructor of the person class, which in turn will initialize the name and age.
after that we call the display method by using the object of student class so since there are two display method by using the derived object the control first goes into the derived class display method and from the derived display method we in turn call the display method of the person base class also so all the de details of the students will get displayed roll number and percentage will be displayed from the student class whereas the name and age will get displayed from the display method of the person class execute and see the program output thank you for watching this video